Hey guys, that's the best mother. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For so for today's video, I am going to the Sadie Jean concert. She's having a concert in LA. If you guys haven't watched my Ashley Kutcher vlog, make sure to go watch that. Let me do a little TV before I leave. Sure. I got it from Olivia Rodrigo's merch line. It's on, it says, I'm so obsessed with your ex, period. Jeans. Um, I literally just found it in a barrel. Um, these didn't fit me before. I filmed the transition. Here's the transition. Um, yeah. Look at my shoes. Finally, something that I haven't been wearing. Oh. I've been wanting these shoes for so freaking long, and I finally got them. Um, the time is currently 1.31, and right now I'm actually about to head to Kohl's because I have to do Amazon return. And then I'm going to head to Target to pick up gum. Um, because I am fasting today, so that's the only thing I can like really eat that's like flavorful. But I'm gonna leave my phone here, or not my phone. I'm gonna leave my camera here to charge because I freaking forgot to charge it, and the freaking battery thing is flashing at me. So I'm freaking mad about that, and I leave in an hour. So, um, and I said in the last vlog, Ashley Kutcher vlog, that I was gonna be prepared. No, I'm not. The time is currently 3.53 and I just got here and right now I'm headed to the line. I see a few people in line, not too many. She also said the first 25 people get to go in for the sound check, which I don't think there's more than 25 people, hopefully. The sound check starts at 6.30 and I believe the show starts at like 7 or 8. The parking structure is really close to the venue. Okay, so I have something for you. 
is already such a great day. <laughs> um, if you guys have listened to my music, which now you've heard three songs, I definitely reveal some things that I wouldn't tell someone maybe until like a seventh date. Um, which is really scary because I kind of feel like I'm more of a closed off person. Um, but tonight, I'm deciding to just own it. And really overshare with you guys, if that's okay. Because I think it just makes it more interesting. Hopefully, no one in this room. It, what happens in this room stays in this room. I don't understand, but I am going to talk about my entire relationship history. Um, I've been in three relationships. <laughs> the first one sucked. And the third one sucked. And they both were kind of like the same exact person, just twice, in like really weird, specific ways. Like I dated each of them for exactly 10 months, and they both were the number six on their sports teams. <laughs> and um, they also both ended up cheating on me with blonde volleyball players. Yeah, it was really lame. The first time especially was so sad. And then when it happened again, it was more just like, oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> the same exact thing. Um, the other weird part of it was the first one asked me to be his girlfriend on October 25th. Oh! And the third one broke up with me on October 25th. Oh! was trying to tell me something, like, you're really dumb. <laughs> and I was really upset about it and disappointed in myself and all the things. And so I wrote a song about it, and it's called October 20th. <laughs>
and when I was in the car with my friends, I would purposely sing really off key so that <laughs> no one knew that I could sing. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was really embarrassing because it sounded so unrealistic. So that's really cool <laughs> that you guys are all here. <laughs> we covered X's one and three. There's one in the middle. It's very important to the story and honestly my entire career because all of my most popular songs are about him. Um, he started dating when I was 17 and he actually was really great and never did anything wrong. And I have kind of an optional dare for you guys today. But there's like a rule to this dare. But I'm thinking if this song makes you think of someone that you might really want to be with in 10 years, <laughs> then maybe you should reach out. Are you doing it? Now? <laughs> Let's go. What are you saying? I'm actually gonna call him.
I feel awesome. I didn't know what to expect going into my first headline tour. Like, I don't know. I kind of thought no one would come. So <laughs> it was really cool <laughs> to see a bunch of people here. Um, and yeah, this next song specifically really changed my life. Um, to me, it was like the first song I put out and I was a college student and I thought that this dream was unrealistic and because of you guys, I get to be on tour. So really, thank you so much. Can't yeah. that the song is about S number two. So what do you do now? Hey guys, so I, I cried a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, just like a little while ago I literally cried and that's because I thought, oh sorry bad lighting, 
That's because I thought I freaking lost my car. Not actually lost my car, but parked in this parking structure. It's public parking. The gates were like locked. It was like, you know, like the bars were like down. And I'm like, oh no. So I went around because there's two ways. So I went around and it was locked. It like literally just cried because I thought I couldn't see my car. I thought I was gonna have to call my mom, she'll pick me up, and then we pick up the car tomorrow. I thought this was gonna happen. I was so close to texting her, but then this guy comes out and he's like, may I help you? And I'm like, I parked my car in there earlier today. And he was like, do you have the ticket thing? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, they close at seven. And I'm like, I did not know that. So yeah, then he walked me to the back and then I went like in the parking structure where my car was, I paid and whatnot, and I went down. Anyways. I am back home, well, my camera actually died, so. Lady Jane did such an amazing job. She slayed, she ate, she devoured. How many letters are in devoured? Exactly. So she performed and whatnot. And after, I met a few people. Before I met Sadie, I was like in line to meet her. I turned back, I don't know why I turned back, but thank God I did. I seen a lot of people gathering around and then I'm like, is that Lauren? So yeah, I told someone to save my spot in line. And then I went up to her. She was talking to like a few other fans and then um, it was my turn to like take a picture with her. And then she like turned back my way and she was like, she's like gonna say something. But then, but then that's when I was like, I went to your concert. And she was like, I was just about to say, I remember you. And I'm like, wait, really? Like I actually said that usually I don't say anything like that. But I'm like, wait, really? Because I was so surprised because I went to her concert in August. I did film that. If you want to go watch it, go check it out. But um, I went to one of her concerts in August and I only seen her perform. I didn't take a picture with her or anything like that. She did have a VIP thing, but I didn't know anything about it. So I just seen her perform. And when she was on stage and singing and whatnot, she did wave to me. But like, she literally, what? Like, it was just for a second. Like, I don't know how she remembers me. She was like, oh my God, I remember you. She was also like holding my hand and I'm like, I was just so surprised. And she was like, oh my God, you look so pretty. I'm like, Stop. yeah, we took the picture. After her, I went back in line and then I turned back again. I seen Landon and Jake Clark and I took a picture of them and they're both this, or three of them, they're all the sweetest people ever, and even Sadie, but yeah, and Landon said, what's your name? And I'm like, Marley, and he was just like staring at me, and I'm like, uh, and I'm like, oh my god, he's so hot, bye. Like, he was looking at me in my eyes, and like, I'm short, so like, he had to like, go down to my level to take a picture. Every time I meet someone famous, they, I always meet them once, and then the next time I meet them, they know who I am. Like, Kenzie, Natalie Cuevas. Julie Blanc, Jaden Bartels, now Lauren. Yeah, um, I think that's it. That's all the story I have to tell you. By far, like one of the cutest concerts, Sadie Jean did such an amazing job. I love the setup, like on stage. I like the li little lamp thing, like um, her intro thing, whatever you call it. Um, but like the lamps would turn on, that, that part was so sick. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like, subscribe, comment down below what other YouTube videos like to see next. Peace. What was I doing? Peace, love, and happiness. Bye.